Hey man, Ryan Garcia literally predicted and warned Bill Haney three months ago, three months ago, how the Devin Haney fight was gonna go. And the fight went just like how he predicted, bro. Check this out. I'm never gonna doubt Ryan Garcia again. I'm, tell, I'm, I'm telling Bill this. I'm gonna tell him this now, and then I'll probably have something for him later. But I'm telling you, he's he gonna have three chances to stop the fight. Mm. The first one is so if he doesn't do it, then who knows what's gonna happen. Wow. So I'm just telling you, you're gonna have three chances in the fight to help your son out. We're gonna see if you really care about your son. Mm. We're gonna see where that love really is. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We're gonna see where that really look. I'm gonna look at you every time. I'm saying, I'm gonna give you that look like you better stop it. This ain't going to be right for Devin. If he's not knocked out cold, this is going to get a lot worse. You better pray he get knocked out cold. Mm. Pray he gets knocked out cold so he don't feel the, what he's going to feel. Tell me that's not crazy and that's not how the fight went. He literally said, I'm going to give Bill Haney three chances to stop the fight. And he knocked Devin Haney down officially three times. We could say the other ones, but I'm talking about officially. And if you guys remember in the fight... Ryan Garcia at one point looked at Bill Haney and said, hey, dog, stop the fight. This is, look, man, all respect to Ryan Garcia, bro. All respect to Ryan Garcia. I always liked Ryan Garcia. I always watched Ryan Garcia, but I wasn't a crazy, crazy fan. And now I am, bro. Ryan Garcia threw it down, man. Ryan Garcia threw it down. And me personally, I'm never going to doubt him again, bro. Me personally, I never going to doubt him again. The guy literally bet on himself to win and he pulled a huge upset when i say bet on himself check this out bro so where is it at so ryan garcia bet two million dollars on himself two million dollars and the payout was 12 million dollars bro i know some people are gonna be like oh that's chump change to ryan garcia dog that's a big bet bro that's a lot of money to almost anyone. He bet $2 million, and this is what he posted. If you bet bet on yourself, on top of what we, what we made eating good, about $50 million, probably uh, about $50 million, probably more in one night. Not too shabby. I will let God guide me on how to use this money. Amen. Dog, $50 million. He probably made around that. I, I mean, we don't know officially. That's what he's saying. That, but I, that's, pretty, that's pretty accurate, dog. And he bet $2 million to win $12 million. And someone actually commented, because I saw some people talking about this. So I can't I can't find it on the screen. This can't be legal. Because you know how people say, oh, you can't bet on yourself. You can't bet if you're fighting. And he commented, he replied back. Ryan Garcia replied back. In boxing, you could bet on yourself to win. That's it. Now, that makes sense, right? You can't bet on yourself to lose. Because that means, I mean, people have done it in the past and they got caught. Some people got caught. I'm pretty sure some people haven't got caught. Like, you can't bet on yourself to lose. You'll just throw the fight, but you can bet on yourself to win. And Ryan Garcia won big, man. My respect for Ryan Garcia is through the roof, bro. It's through the freaking roof, man. I was just watching that fight and just dying, bro. I was just dying, just like many of you. And I had a bet too, bro. And I came this close, dog. My main bet was a disqualification on that whole outcome. That didn't happen, right? That was paying out a lot. And my other bet was a Ryan Garcia knockout, like a clean, like a Ryan Garcia knockout at any, any time, right? And I bet on rounds on which, when Ryan Garcia is gonna knock out Devin Haney. I had like round two, three, four, five, and then like six to nine, and then like 10 to 12. Every time Devin Haney, and it was paying big, dog. Every time Devin Haney got knocked down, I was just like, oh my God, I'm about to win. And he would get up. I'll be like, no, man, that freaking ref, bro. There was something up with that ref, dog. There was something definitely up with that ref, man, because that was lame, man. Okay, by the way, this is Benny the Bear. This is my product. I created Benny the Bear, dog. It's not like a sponsor. Who am I to get sponsored? This is a gift for stoners. I don't smoke, but I'm in Los Angeles and almost everyone smokes. It's like a cool accessory gift you can give to your stoner friend. Look, it's smoking and joint. It's really good quality, man. I created Benny the Bear, dog. If you want to support me, man, you can go to litplush.com. I'll post a link in the description. If you don't want to support me, don't buy one, dog. No one buys one anyways, dog. Listen, Benny the Bear, man. Must be 21 and older to order. So, Ryan Garcia, there's been a lot of talks, like, ever since the fight. Uh, boots. 
Errol Spence, all these people, and Ryan Garcia basically called out, Sean O'Malley, Rainbow Kaka Brain, wants to box, be prepared to bleed Rainbow. And before the fight, Sean O'Malley was talking about boxing Ryan Garcia, and actually Sean O'Malley did a podcast, and he said, the UFC, I think he did the podcast today, he said, most likely, he's going to be fighting Ryan Garcia in two, uh, in two more fights in the UFC. Now, obviously, that's not official, but he did say, the UFC told him, that if the, if the fight makes money for them, big money for them, they'll be down. But Ryan Garcia, I like Sean O'Malley, bro. I'm a huge UFC fan. Huge, huge, huge UFC fan. But Ryan Garcia is going to kill Sean O'Malley, bro. I get it, bro. Sean O'Malley has good striking. But Ryan Garcia is on another level. And it, Devin Haney will smoke Sean O'Malley. But this will make a lot of money, man. This will make big, 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 big money. In my opinion, I'll tell you this, man. In my opinion, like, Ryan Garcia should fight Boots. Look, he's even calling out Errol Spence. Wait, wait, RG versus Errol will be crazy. Nah, y'all want that? Let me hear you. I think that's the best thing for him. I think he should go. He was talking about going up to 147, even 154, 5 Honduras. Like, if he fights Boots, now, Boots is crazy, dog. Okay, I'm not saying he could beat Boots. I'm not saying that at all, dog. But... It's a win-win for Ryan Garcia, okay? If he goes up and fights Boots and he loses, no one's going to shame Ryan Garcia. It's Boots, dog. It's Boots. It's the person that everyone is scared to fight him. That's why you can't fight any fights. And if he goes up there and beats Boots, which is a big task, but I'm not freaking doubting Ryan Garcia. What, what happens to Ryan Garcia? But fighting Boots... Fighting Errol Spence, in my opinion, it's a win-win for Ryan Garcia. If he loses, no one's going to shame him. You think people are going to shame him if he goes up and fights Errol Spence? If he go, goes up and fights Boots? Hell no, bro. And if he wins, which is a big task, but it could happen, man. He has that magic hook, dog. That hook was unstoppable, man. If he wins, that'll be the craziest thing, man. And also, man, everyone needs to stop bringing up the him missing weight, bro. He did not win because he came in three pounds over. He won because Devin Haney had no answer for him. Devin Haney had no answer for that hook from round one, bro. Ryan Garcia showed Devin Haney no respect, bro. Absolutely no respect. And after that round one, it was done, man. And here's the thing. I know some people are saying, oh, yeah, the way Devin Haney was drained, this, that, bro. Devin Haney won a few rounds after round one, bro. What, he wasn't drained there? It's just Ryan Garcia's power and, dog, Ryan Garcia's belief in himself. You guys remember that one time Devin Haney caught him with a nice hook and Ryan Garcia, like, stumbled back and he's like, this dog, dog. after I saw that, I'm like, it's over, bro. He shows no, he's showing no respect to Devin Haney, man. Look, dog, all respect, all praise, all credit goes to Ryan Garcia. He proved everyone wrong, most people wrong, and me wrong, bro. I always wanted Ryan Garcia to win, but I always said, like, I don't think he could beat Devin Haney, man, especially with all this stuff going on. He fooled me. He fooled anyone. I'm an idiot. Most people are idiots, bro. But let me know what you think of this in the comments, man. Do you want to see him fight Boots, and who do you got in that fight? Let me know what you think of this in the comments, and it'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the note. Thank you so much for watching.